Welcome to DIY Easy Crafts. Today we're going to take a look at a do-it-yourself neoprene repair or patch. Now we're going to be looking at fixing a pair of neoprene uh, duck hunting waders that I have. What you're going to need is a neoprene contact cement, aqua seal, um, and a spare piece of neoprene that we can just cut and use as a patch. This same type of repair can be done on uh, neoprene wetsuits, dry suits, and of course waders. This is the damage that I did to my waders. I just caught it on the, on the boat trailer as I was walking by. So I'm going to start by cutting a patch out of a spare uh, piece of neoprene. You want to cut the patch a little bit larger than the damage. I go, I go a little overkill on the size. And now what I'm doing is I'm trimming the thickness of that patch. So just with a pair of scissors, I'm going to go around the entire edge and kind of taper it down to as thin as possible all around the, all around the outside diameter. Then I'm going to use that patch as a template. I'm just going to use a pen to go around and trace the outline. And then once the outline is traced, I'm just going to start coating it with the black contact cement. This is neoprene contact cement. You put, want to put thin layers on, and you want to go just past the outside um, outline that you created with the pen. You're going to do a total of three layers of this contact cement. Not only do you want to apply the contact cement uh, to, the, to the waders or to the product that's being fixed, but also to the patch. And let them dry. They, it doesn't take all that long to dry, you know, probably five or six minutes or so. And then you just recoat it and you do that a total of three times. You can use a hair dryer to facilitate the drying. And once it is completely dry, you can, you can touch it and you don't end up with any uh, tackiness or any of the neoprene cement on your finger, then just apply the patch. And press it firmly, pressing both pieces firmly together. I usually work from the center outward. But the edges that we tapered down with the scissor, you want to really push those down. Now, you could stop right here. I go and do another step. I use the Aquacel, Aquaseal, which is a clear adhesive, and I coat the entire patch. And I make sure that I also go over the actual edge so that that aqua seal is touching not only the patch, but also the, um, the neoprene underneath. When I'm all done, you don't want to leave big globs of this stuff on top of, the, uh, of, top of the patch. It would really reduce the flexibility of the neoprene. So I use a plastic knife and I just scrape away as much as possible with the serrations of the knife. That's going to leave a, a really nice coating that becomes very, very durable. Uh, when it's dry. It takes about 24 hours to dry. In fact, if you had a particular spot, maybe your knees, that always get worn, you could put that uh, Aqua Seal right on the knees, scrape it, scrape off as much as possible, and that would really make, uh, make your, your knee patch last a lot longer. Anyway, that's it. A very simple do-it-yourself project. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. By all means, check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com for a variety of other nautical and duck hunting related do-it-yourself projects. Thank you very much.